Greetings and salutations, viewers. And as I, Cybertron X, coming to you with a new retro toy review. Today, I'm talk going to talk to you about a toy line based on a video game which spawned two sequels that were good, two others that were bad, because the original production company was not involved, and spawned a cartoon on Kids WB. What I'm talking to you today is about Earthworm Jim. Now, when I start a retro toy review and I have some of the same lot figures in the line, I'm going to give a little bit of the backstory of the line itself before I do the reviews. So they're all kind of linked. Earthworm Jim came out to the uh, Sega system in about in uh, 1995, and it was a huge hit. It was a 2D side-scrolling shooter. Um, but what was interesting about Earthworm Jim, you played as a simple earthworm in a mech suit. I'm not talking like Gundam, I mean he had a super suit. Now, the game itself was ac actually really fun. Multiple weapons, interesting bad guys. Some like Queen Slug for Butt and Psycho and Number Four and Bob, uh, Professor Monkey for a Head. Um, what was it? Evil the Cat with his Hinch Rat just to name a few. Also, he had, Earthworm Jim had a humanoid looking girlfriend, Queen, Princess, what's her name? I'm not actually, like I forgot the name, no, that was her name, Princess, what's her name? She was like a bee, so it was weird. The cartoon itself was actually really interesting, great animation. The video game it also had some really crude humor in it. Like it, Earthworm Jim's lifeline to help him get across certain areas was a living ball of snot named Snot. Kind of like his pet dog. Now, what I'm going to show you is a couple of the figures, actually two of the Earthworm Jim figures. And just a comparison, because they're actually kind of the same figure, but different, and each figure had its own gimmick. So let's go start first with your main hero, Earthworm Jim. That's right, this is the Earthworm Jim figure. Articulation, you had rotation here in the arm, and rotation in the wrist or forearm, and the legs did that. Simple, no waist articulation really, due to the fact that there is a spring-loaded gimmick in this toy. But let's go over some of the accessories before I show you the gimmick. Accessory one, his normal blaster. This is the gun he had to start with the game. Which is interesting, it looks like a jet engine fit into his holster and then would expand like that. Also, had one of his bigger guns. Don't remember the name of this. So he can actually hold this. It's an interesting detailed gun. Just simple 90s molded plastic, but kind of cool looking nonetheless. And last, you have his faithful companion, Snot. That's right, it's just a living thing of Snot. Now, this is your main hero form of Earthworm Jim, the main figure. Um, as you can see, he can hold his gun loosely. Kind of, kind of pick the what hand you want him to hold it in, like so. Now, this figure's gimmick is he will eject from the body. And what's funny is that's all that's basically Earthworm, the rest is a spring-loaded launcher. So that's actually kind of funny. Actually a nice little detailed figure. Kind of, it just looks straight from the video game and the cartoon, so that's actually pretty cool. Next up on the review is Battle Damage Earthworm Jim. Kind of like the same figure, just a little bit more, like, as you can see, the whole suit is nothing like a... It's just a robotic suit. 
all this battle damage, and it did, in the game, the more damage you took, some of the suit did start to break off. Articulation, same as the original, except you have more of a wrist rotation on this one, and forearm on that one. Detail-wise, for battle damage, it's pretty neat. Um, basically, he's he walks down hunched over. And its gimmick, I don't know if you can see here, is that you push this button on the back and the chest piece flies off to reveal more battle damage in the chest. You know, a lot of toys in that time came out with gimmicks. And that was Earthworm Gems. As you can see, he even has like a little bandage right there on the side of his head. His accessories are just like the original, but they have molded battle damage, which is actually really good, a uh, really good detail. It's basically the same gun, just a little battle damage. The same with his bigger gun, molded in battle damage. So what tells me is they made a bunch of this mold and then added some battle damage, which is basically, they just took in the mold and added a few details and stuff like that. Snot also has battle damage as you can see here, and an evil-ass grin. I like that. What I would like to see done is maybe some red in the muscle area, just to give it a little bit of detail. But this is all it was, really just some molded plastic put in with the toy. To find a complete set of Earthworm Gym figures, especially ones with like the gimmicks, it's kinda hard. You're gonna have to look really, really hard for them if you want them. Are they fun? Yeah, they're fun to sit on the shelf or play with. Pretty neat. Um, I actually have more of the line that I'm going to show. This is also thanks to my, my supplier. Um, actually, these are not mine. He's letting me review them, and I have to send them back. Do I recommend getting these? Yes, I'm actually looking for them myself to get, because I kind of like them. Uh, now, ThinkGeek actually has a... Earthworm Jim figure that's a little bit more detailed, about twelve, about six inches tall, with a removable bendy Earthworm Jim worm, and it's on sale for like twenty-four dollars, twenty-four, twenty, twenty-five around there. Am I going to get it? Maybe. I don't know. Do I, like I said, do I recommend these? Yes, I fully recommend them. Uh, so if you can find them on eBay. For a good price, complete, snatch them up. There were only uh, eight in the series. There was um, the two Earthworm Gems, an Aqua Earthworm Gem, um, his dog cor uh, friend, and Princess What's-Her-Name were the good guys. So you had five good guys and three villains. Uh, number four with Bob, Evil the Cat with Henchrat, and Psycho. Um, next review I'm going to do, I'm going to do on the Aquatic Earthworm Gem, uh, then the Villains, and then actually I have an on-card Princess What's-Her-Name. I'm going to show you what the packaging looked like before I open it. So this way you can get a, a sense of, if you can find them on card, what you're looking for. This has been Cybertron X with the Retro Toy Reviews. This has been a 7 Better Than 6 production.